Hi and welcome to Giggles and Yarn. Upon popular request, I am doing the pattern for the cable stitch jersey that I published on my channel several years ago. Uh, for this project, you will need chunky yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. So, without further ado, let's get started. So now let's begin our cable stitch jersey project. Grab your chunky yarn and 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and let's begin with a slip knot. Make a slip knot and then chain 53. Yarn over, pull through, that's your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's your second chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's your third chain. And continue like this until you have 53 chains and I'll meet you at the end. Now that we have our chain of 53, let's block off that last chain. Then chain up two. That is our turning chain. Yarn over and into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet. So yarn over and pull through three. Let's do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over and pull through three. Continue to insert one half double crochet into every chain and I'll meet you at the end. So I've reached the end of row one and we have 53 half double crochets and now let's get ready for row two. So at the end of row one, we'll make a chain of two, one, two, and turn our work. And then into that first stitch, we'll make a half double crochet. And we'll make a half double crochet into every <coughs> stitch for the rest of row one. So row two will be a row of half double crochets all the way to the end. Keep going until you reach the end of row two. So now we've reached the end of row two. Row two was a row of only half double crochets. Now chain two. This is our turning chain. It does not count as a stitch and turn our work. For row three, we will only work into the half double crochets of row one. We will begin with a twister cable. We are going to skip the first post. Prepare for a front post triple crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the second post from the start and yarn over. We have four loops on our hook. Now yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now into the next post, we will make another front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and yarn over. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. Now we're going to do the twist. <laughs> I mean make the twist. <laughs> Let's go back to the post we skipped. Prepare for a front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the post we skipped. Yarn over. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. And there we have our first twister cable. Now we are going to make a pillar. For yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and yarn over four loops on our hook. 
You only ever pull through two, pull through two, pull through the last two. So now we have our twister and our puller. And now we will make our first braided cable of six strands. So prepare for a front post double treble crochet yarn over three times. Skip the next two posts and insert your hook under the third post. Yarn over. Five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Now let's repeat the same in the next post. Yarn over three times. Insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over. Five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. And pull through two. Now let's go back to the two posts that we skipped. Prepare for a front post double treble crochet. Yarn over three times and insert your hook under the first post that we skipped. Yarn over. Five loops on our hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. We have two loops left on our hook. Now yarn over, pull through both loops. So repeat the same for the second post that we skipped. Yarn over three times and insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over, five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two and pull through the last two. So we have made the first four strands of our braided cable. So let's make the last two strands. Prepare for a front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice and insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. So let's repeat this for the next post. Yarn over twice only and insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through the last two. Now we've completed our first braided cable with six strands. Next we'll make another puller as before. Yarn over twice and insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over four loops on our hook, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now we will repeat the twist we made at the beginning of row three. Skip one post, yarn over twice and insert your hook under the second post from the pillar and complete the front post treble crochet. Again, yarn over twice and insert your hook under the next post and complete the front post triple crochet. Now go back to the post we skip, skipped. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the post we skipped and complete the front post triple crochet. So now we've completed the first cluster for row three. Okay, first we made a twister, then a pillar, then a six strand braided cable, then a pillar, and then a twister. So after we finish the first cluster of row three, we are going to do the middle cluster. We will begin with four half double crochets. And we'll work the first half double crochet into the 15 stitch from the beginning of row 3. So pull row 3 away from row 2 behind it and let's count together. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're working to the 15 stitch. <coughs> so once you are very sure that you have the 15 stitch from the beginning of row 3, let's make our first half double crochet and we'll work under both loops. So yarn over and work one half double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So we have a total of four half double crochets. Next, we will work three pillars. We will work into the first post after the four half double crochets. To make sure you have the correct post, count five posts from the last post of the previous twister cable we worked. So there's our last twister post there. One, two, three, four, five. We work in the fifth under the fifth post. Now prepare for a front post treble crochet, yarn over twice, only twice, one, two, and insert your hook under the one, two, three, four, fifth post. Under the fifth post and complete the front post treble crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Next, we're going to work the second pillar and it is the same as the first pillar, a front post treble crochet. Let's make our last pillar, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. So now we've made three pillars in total. Next we will work two half double crochets. To make sure we have the right stitch, pull your work away and count the three stitches behind our three pillars. One, two, three. And into the fourth stitch, work a half double crochet. One, two, three, <laughs> into the fourth stitch, a half double crochet, and also into the next stitch, we'll work a half double crochet and a both loops. One and two. So now we have worked four half double crochets three pillars and two half double crochets which we will repeat in reversed order after we have made our center cable. So our center cable is an Arabelle cable worked over six posts but it's not the same as our first braided cable at the beginning of row three. So we will begin the Arabelle cable in the fourth post after the last half double crochet. To make sure we work into the correct post Let's start counting from the last pillar we made. It will be the sixth post after the last pillar. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, and we'll work into the sixth, under the sixth post. So prepare for a front post treble crochet. The Arabelle cable only consists of front post treble crochets. Yarn over twice and insert your hook under the one, two, three, four, five, six posts from the last pillar. Yarn over, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Let's repeat this twice more, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete the front post treble crochet. Repeat this one more time for the next post, yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, and pull through two, two, and two. 
So now let's return to the last three posts that we skipped. Yarn up twice and insert your hook under the first of the previous three posts that we skipped. Let's find it. Under that first post of the three. Count three backwards. That's, that's the post. And pull through two, two and two. Now let's find the next post that we skipped, hidden there, there it is, okay, let's yarn over twice, insert our hook under that second skipped post, yarn over, pull through two, two and two. And there's our last skipped post. So let's do a front post triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert it under that last skipped post and complete the front post triple crochet. Now we will repeat the same pattern that we did before the Araba cable. So we will begin with two half double crochets, then three pillars, and then four half double crochets, just on the other side. So let's find the correct stitch in which to make our two half double crochets. Pull your work down and away, and count the stitches behind the Araba cable. There's six stitches behind the Araba cable. We will work into the seventh stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And into the seventh stitch, let's work under both loops and make one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. Next, we will make three pillars. Count three posts from the last post of the Araba cable and work under the fourth post. post. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under the fourth post and complete a front post triple crochet. Repeat this also for the next two posts. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. Two and two. All right, again, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. Pull through two, two and two. Now we've worked three pillars. One, two and three. Next, we will work four half double crochets. Let's find the correct stitch in which to begin. Pull your work down and count the stitches behind the three pillars. There are three stitches. One, two, three. And we will work into the fourth stitch. So yarn over. And work four half double crochets into each of the next four stitches. Go under both loops. One, two, three, and four. So let's have a look at what row three looks like so far. So after our first cluster, we worked four half double crochets, three pillars, two half double crochets, a center cable, two half double crochets, three pillars, and four half double crochets. So next we will End row three by repeating the first cluster that we made at the beginning of row three. 
So I will repeat it exactly. Then let's make a twister cable. We will begin the twister cable in the sixth post from the third pillar. One, two, three, four, five, and we work into the sixth post. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under the sixth post, and complete the front post treble crochet. One over two, two, and two. Into the next post, we'll make another front post treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, and yarn over, and complete the front post treble crochet. So, come let's twist again. Let's go back to the last post that we skipped. Prepare for a front post treble crochet yarn over twice. Insert your hook under that post and complete the front post treble crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, two and two. Next we are going to make a pillar. After the twister cable, we'll make a pillar. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, this next post, and complete the front post triple crochet. One, two, and two. Next, we will repeat the braided cable that we did in the first cluster of row three. Prepare for a front post double treble crochet, yarn over three times, skip the next two posts and insert your hook under the third post and com complete the front post double treble crochet. Do the same for the next post, yarn over three times, insert your hook under the next post and yarn over, pull through two, two, two and two. Now let's go back to the two posts that we skipped. Yarn over three times, insert your hook under that first post that we skipped, yarn over and complete the front post double treble crochet. The same for the next post, next skipped post, there it is. Yarn over three times, insert your hook under that second skipped post and complete the front post double treble crochet. To complete our braided cable we will work a front post treble crochet into the next two posts. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, that one, and finish working the front post treble crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, two, and two. Repeat the same for the next post, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, and complete the front post treble crochet. Now we have completed the braided cable. Next we will make a pillar. There's our braided cable. Now let's make a pillar. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over and complete the front post treble crochet. And over, pull through two, two, and two. After the pillow, we will make our last twister cable. So yarn over twice, skip one post, and into the second post. Insert your hook under the second post, yarn over, and complete the front post treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next post. And now, 
let's do it again <laughs> let's go back to that skipped post and work a front post treble crochet now we have completed our last twister cable to end row three we will do a combination stitch with our last post of row three and the last stitch of row two so yarn over twice and insert your hook under the last post of row three yarn over we have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and stop here we have two loops on the hook now yarn over and insert your hook into the last stitch of row two we have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all four loops now chain two this is our turning chain and get ready for row four but first let's recap row three we started row three with a twister then a pillar twister pillar a braided cable a pillar a twister then four half double crochets three pillars two half double crochets arabelle cable in the center then two half double crochets three pillars four half double crochets then a twister pillar braided cable pillar and finally a twister so now we have already chained two now let's flip our work for row four we'll begin with one half double crochet into the first stitch and we will continue working one half double crochet into each stitch across so be very careful when you work into row three to not miss any stitches and continue inserting half double crochet into every stitch of row three go under both loops Um, you'll see that the row the stitches of row two and row three are very close to each other so make sure you stay in row three all the time okay so just as a bit of caution um, also make sure you don't miss any stitches especially uh, where the cables twist it's very easy to skip a stitch there so also make sure in the center with the arabelle cable is that you have six that you work six half double crochets across the arabelle cable it's easy to miss them and so now we've reached the end of row four do a stitch count to make sure you still have 53 stitches in total now we've completed row four a row of half double crochets make sure you still have 53 stitches in total so let's get ready for row five let's chain two one two and turn your work for row five we will continue building our cables let's begin working the twister at the beginning of the row so prepare for a front post treble crochet yarn over twice skip the first post and insert your hook under the second post and complete a front post treble crochet also do one front post treble crochet into the next post through two two and two now let's return to the post we skipped at the beginning of the row yarn over twice and insert your hook under that first post and complete a front post triple crochet pull through two two and two 
Next, we'll make a pillar. Yarn over twice and insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. Next, we'll make the braided cable. So, yarn over twice and insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. Pull through two, two, and two. Do the same for the next post. Now skip the following two posts, yarn over three times and insert your hook under the third post and complete a front post double treble crochet. Repeat this for the following post also. There it is. Now we're going to return to the two posts that we skipped and we will work them from the back. So yarn over three times and make sure you hold the yarn tight against the hook. Pull your work down and find the skipped posts. There they are. Insert your hook under the first skipped post and yarn over and complete the front post double treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next skipped post. Pull through two, two, two and two. That completes the braided cable. Next <coughs> we will make a pillar. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. Next we will do the twister. Yarn over twice, skip one post and insert your hook under the second post and complete a front post treble crochet. Again, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post treble crochet. Now let's return to the skipped post. There it is. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the skipped post and complete a front post treble crochet. Next, we are going to make four half double crochets. Let's count back from the three pillars of the previous row. So this is the top of the pillar. Let's count back one, two, three, four, and work one half double crochet into the fourth stitch. Insert one half double crochet into the next three stitches also for a total of four half double crochets. Work under both loops every time. So now let's do the three pillars. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post treble crochet. Repeat this for the following two posts also. Now we will work two half double crochets. Pull your work down to find the beginning stitch behind the three pillars. There are three stitches, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, work one half double crochet. Insert your 
Then work one half double crochet into the next stitch also. Now we will work the center cable for row five. So yarn over twice, skip three stitches and insert your hook under that post, yarn over and complete a front post treble crochet. Repeat the same for the following two posts. There it is. Okay, so now we are going to find the three hidden posts that we skipped. They're really hidden. There they are. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the first skipped post and complete a front post treble crochet. Two and repeat the same for the second and third skipped posts. And the last Skipped post is really hidden. There it is. Make a front post triple crochet into the last skipped post. Now we will again work two half double crochets. Count back from the first of the three pillars, that is the top of the pillar. One. Okay, count one, two. And into that stitch, work one half double crochet and also into the next stitch. Now we will work the three pillars, yarn over twice. Insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next two posts. Now we're going to work four half double crochets. Pull your work down to reveal the stitches behind the three pillars. Count the three stitches behind the pillars. Yarn over and into the fourth stitch insert one half double crochet. Now insert one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches for a total of four half double crochets. Next we will work one pillar, a twister, a braided cable, pillar and twister. So yarn over twice, skip one post and insert your hook under the middle post of the twister and complete a front post treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next post. There it is. And the same for the next post as we said. Now return to the post we skipped. There it is. Yarn over twice and complete a front post treble crochet. Now we will work a pillar, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. This is row 5 so far. Now 
Now let's begin the last braided cable of row 5. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post. Yarn over and complete a front post treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next post. It's a little bit hidden. There it is. Do a front post treble crochet. Now skip the following two posts. Yarn over three times and insert your hook under the third post and complete a front post double treble crochet. Pull through two, two, two and two. Repeat the same for the next post. Do a front post double treble crochet into the next post. Now let's return to the two posts that we skipped. There they are. We're going to work from the back. So yarn over three times. Hold the yarn tight onto the hook. And pull your work down to reveal the two skipped posts. Insert your hook under the first skipped post. Under the first skipped post and complete a front post double treble crochet. Repeat the same for the next skipped post. It's a little bit hidden. There it is. And do a front post double treble crochet. Now we have completed the braided cable. Next we will make a pillar. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post and complete a front post triple crochet. For the last twist of row 5, yarn over twice, skip the next post and insert your hook under the second post. Yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. Then yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. Now let's go back to the skipped post, yarn over twice, there it is, yarn over twice, insert your hook under the skipped post, yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. Lastly, we will complete row 5 by yarning over twice. Insert your hook under the last post, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and insert your hook into the last stitch of row 4. Yarn over and pull through all 4 stitches on your hook. This completes row 5. Now chain 2 and turn your work. For row 6, work one half double crochet into each stitch across for a total of 53 half double crochets and I'll meet you at the end. Now we've reached the end of row 6 which was a row of half double crochets only. Remember to count your stitches to make sure that you still have 53 stitches. Now chain 2 and turn your work. For row 7 we will continue building our cables. Let's begin with the twister. Skip the first post and work into the second post which is the middle post of the twister. There it is hiding. Yarn over twice, insert your hook under the second post, yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. 
Again yarn over twice, insert your hook under the next post, yarn over and complete a front post triple crochet. Now we will go back to the post we skipped, so yarn over twice, insert your hook under the skipped post, yarn over and complete a front post treble crochet. Next we will work a pillar. So work a front post treble crochet into the next post. And now we will work on the braided cable. To begin the first braided cable of row 7, skip the first two posts, yarn over three times and work one front post double treble crochet into the third and fourth posts. One more. Now let's go back to the two posts we skipped and work a front post double treble crochet into both posts. Yarn over three times. Now let's find the next two posts of the braided cable. There they are. There are their bottom parts. Down there. Now yarn over twice and work one front post treble crochet into each of the next two posts. And again. So for row 7 we have now worked a twister, pillar and braided cable. Now let's make a pillar. Yarn over twice and work one front post treble crochet into the next post. Next we will work a twister, so yarn over twice, skip one post and work a front post triple crochet into the second post. Also work a front post triple crochet into the next post, yarn over twice. Now let's go back to the skipped post. There it is. Yarn over twice and work a front post treble crochet into the skipped post. Next we will make four half double crochets. Let's count back from the first of the three pillars, one, two, three, four, and into that fourth stitch, let's work a half double crochet. Also work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches for a total of four half double crochets. Next we will work the three pillars, yarn over twice and work one front post treble crochet into each pillar. So 
So now it's time for two half double crochets. So pull your work down and look behind the pillars. There's three stitches, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch work a half double crochet and also into the next stitch. This is row 7 so far. So after we've worked 4 half double crochets, 3 pillars and then 2 half double crochets, we will work the center cable of our front panel. That's our Arabelle cable. So now yarn over twice, skip the next three posts and into that fourth post work one front post triple crochet and also into the fifth and sixth post posts. And the sixth one. Now let's go back to the three posts we skipped. There they are. One, two, three. Yarn over twice and work one front post triple crochet into each skipped post. That was the first skipped post. And there's the second skipped post. Work one front post triple crochet. Yarn over twice. And then the th third skipped post there. Work one front post triple crochet. Now we have completed the Arabelle cable in the center and you can see how it starts twisting. In row 7. Next we will make two half double crochets. Let's count back from the first of the three pillars. One, two, and count and make one half double crochet into that stitch and into the next stitch. Next we will work three pillars, yarn over twice and work one front post triple crochet into each pillar. That's the last pillar. Next we are going to make four half double crochets. So pull your work down to reveal the three stitches behind the three pillars. Count three stitches. One, two, three. And into that fourth stitch work one half double crochet and also into the next three stitches for a total of four half double crochets. Now 
Next, we will work a twister. Yarn over twice, skip one post, and work one front post triple crochet into the second and third post. That's the second post. And a front post triple crochet into that third post. Don't go in there, go under the whole post. And now let's go back to that post that we skipped. There it is. And yarn over twice. And work one front post triple crochet into the skipped post. Now let's make a pillar. Yarn over twice. So after we've yarned over twice, work one front post triple crochet for the pillar. And now we will do the last braided cable for row seven. Yarn over three times, skip two posts. And work one front post double treble crochet into the next two posts. There's the second post. Work one front post double treble crochet into the second post. Now let's return to the two skipped posts of the braided cable. Yarn over three times and work one front post double treble crochet into each of the skipped posts. And there's the second one. Go through two. Two, two, and two. To complete the braided cable, let's find its next two posts. There they are, and there are the bottom parts. Yarn over twice and work one front post treble crochet into each of the next two posts. One, and two. Now let's make a pillar. So work a front post triple crochet into the next post. Next we will work a twister. Yarn over twice, skip one post and work a front post triple crochet into the next two posts. And two. Now let's go back to the skipped post, yarn over twice and work a front post treble crochet into the skipped post. There it is. To end row 7 make a front post treble crochet into the following post but do not complete it. There it is. So when there are only two loops left on your hook, yarn over, two loops, one, two, yarn over and insert your hook into the last stitch of row six. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. This completes row seven. Now repeat rows 3 to 7 until your front panel measures 46 centimeters. Then we will work the neck to the shoulder which will add another 8 centimeters to the front panel. 
Remember we are also still going to make a ribbing of 10 centimeters at the bottom of the front panel which will total the length of the front panel at 64 centimeters measured from the shoulder. So now we've repeated rows 3 to 7 all the way until our front panel measures 46 centimeters. Make sure you've ended on any half double crochet row. And now we can begin the neck. To measure the neck we will use stitch markers. So turn the front panel so that the right side is facing up. Then find the sets of three pillars towards the middle of the jersey. Insert a stitch marker at the top of the three pillars. For the right hand side it will be at the top of the first pillar and for the left hand side it will be at the top of the third pillar. Insert your stitch markers there. And now turn the front panel back to the wrong side where you ended your last half double crochet row. And now chain two and turn your work. Now for this row we will follow the pattern for the cables exactly as before all the way up to the stitch marker. So to begin with we will begin with a twisted as before find that middle stitch and insert a front post treble crochet into the second post of the row. One, two, in there. And then you continue the pattern exactly as before all the way up to the stitch marker. So now we've ended this row with Four half double crochets and we have the pillar left to work. So do not work, as you know, do not work past the stitch marker. This is our last post for this row. And insert our front post half double crochet in front post treble crochet into that pillar. Chain 2 and turn your work. Now make a row of half double crochets all the way to the end of this row. When you reach the end, you chain 2 and return with a row of cables. Continue like that just as before until your work reaches 8 centimeters. Now we are going to work the other side of the neck from the stitch marker all the way to the end of the row. So attach your yarn where the stitch marker is. Chain one. Chain one. And then work that pillar as before. All the way to the end we'll follow the same pattern exactly as before. So chain two and insert a front post triple crochet into that pillar and then continue working all the way to the end as we did before. Then do your half double crochets and keep working until your neck measures eight centimeters. When you've finished chain two, come back with a row of half double crochets. Then when you reach the stitch marker again, chain two, go back with a row of cable rows and keep going all the way as you did previously until it measures eight centimeters. When your work measures eight centimeters, complete the last post of that last row just as before. So you'll be ending with the right side of your work facing you. And if you are doing the side panel on this side of the front panel next, you do not have to end off and cut your yarn. After shaping the area for the neck, we are going to add the side panels. These side panels will allow you to increase the width of your jersey. 
So you will be able to add as many centimeters as you want. To begin, turn your work to the wrong side and attach your yarn at the beginning of the row. And chain one. Now work single crochets all the way across into each stitch. So insert your hook in the stitch above the half double crochet row. There. And work one single crochet. Then insert your hook in the stitch directly after the half double crochet row and work one single crochet. So it's directly up above and directly after. Continue like this to the end of the row. When you reach the end of the single crochet row, chain two and turn your work. Now we've completed our row of single crochets along the length of our front panel and we will continue making our side panel. So after we've chained two and turned our work, we will now have our right side facing us. So we'll work along the right side. Well, this is our turning chain and we're going to work into each single crochet stitch of the previous row and we'll be working under both loops. Let's start with the first stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook into that very first single crochet that is in the corner. Now pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Now pull the third loop through under the second loop. Like that. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Now you've completed your half double crochet. All right. So that's your first herringbone half double crochet. Next, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet stitch. Pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Pull the third loop through the second loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Continue like that, making herringbone half double crochets all the way until you reach the end. Make a total of four rows and then end off and cut your yarn. Repeat the same process for the other side of your front panel and the width of your front panel will now measure 55 centimeters. So now the front panel width measures 55 centimeters and the length so far also measures 55 centimeters but remember we are still going to make a ribbing of 10 centimeters at the end. So after we've done the back panel we'll touch the shoulders then we'll mark our sleeve and then we'll attach the back and front panels then we'll make those sleeves and then we'll make a beautiful collar and at the very end we'll add the rip trim of 10 centimeters.